Hey, it's day 30 of the lockdown, AKA never ending story. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm going to cut this right here. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it to the weekend. I'm gonna cut it and we'll keep the mustache for another week. And then I'm just gonna cut it off and start over. I'm gonna keep the hair though. I'm not gonna get a haircut till this is over, but I'm gonna cut this off. Cause it's just, ah. Uh, it's kind of getting on my nerves. I don't know how guys grow facial hair that thick. Uh, but, uh, I don't know if you guys heard, unless you've been living under a freaking rock. You hear about the NASCAR driver, Kyle Larson, that said the N-word? Like, what's amazing is there's no car races, so he's doing this, like, online video type deal where he's racing another driver, and... He goes, hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? And then he just says the N-word, like out of left field. The guy he was racing was a white dude. And it just, when I heard there, a NASCAR driver got suspended and got fired from all his sponsors, they said the N-word. I said, well, let me, let me stop. Let me hear it and see what kind of context he said it in. Cause I was like, maybe he hangs around a lot of black guys. And somebody was in his house and he's a little too comfortable around his friends and didn't realize it was on and said it, you know, I get it. It's not right, but there's a different context it was their malicious intent behind what he said. But it was so weird. I've, I've never in my life heard this version because the guy just goes, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? And then there's a pause and then he just spews out the n-word with the er not even the a version the er and i went it didn't even go with anything he was talking about it made no sense so now the guy the nascar driver he's fired he's suspended he's got uh all his sponsors one by one it was like a trickle down effect it was like a snowball effect they all just let him go he issued an apology i'm always i'm always when i hear people apologizing for the when they say the N-word, I'm always like, are they really apologizing or are they just like they got caught? Because if you say that particular word, and I, I'm somewhat of a white guy expert on the word because I'm around so many black people. Uh, if you get caught saying it once, that means you said it 500,000 times when people weren't around or the people you're around were comfortable. I, I hear that all the time. Like, I can say it. No, I can't. Mm -mm. No, I cannot. Mm -mm. Uh, the only time, I'll be honest with you, I ever say it, and I've said it numerous times, is when I'm in the car by myself and I'm singing a song. That's the only time. If you're in the car with me, I don't sing the song. I just let it go. I come up with a cough. <coughs> Maybe not. A, it's a bad time to cough, but I'll just, I don't know. That's when I take a sip of my drink. If I have coffee... And so when DMX is singing, what you really want from a... At that point, I take a sip of my coffee. And then I sit down and I continue the song. I just don't know what people are thinking. I do not... You got a headset on. you know. But you... If you guys see the video, watch the guy he, he's he's driving against. He the It's a white dude and he just goes... And then you hear somebody goes, you realize the mic's on, right? Like, people can hear you. Uh, you know, I don't want him to lose his livelihood, but... What a time to say it too. Like, you're not racing anytime soon. Uh, so, I just, it's just amazing to me. It's common sense. There's, it's the one word, more than any other word, in the English language, that we all know what it is. Black people can say it. White people can. Uh, it's just, it is what it is. Stop trying to dissect it. Stop trying to explain it. People, they'll give you this, this, the way he was raised around black people or da, 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 da. It don't matter. The bottom line is white people can't say it. Black people can. That's pretty much what it is. Cut and dry. No reason to overthink it. No reason to try to dissect it. No reason to reason with it. It's just, that's the rules. I said it in my last comedy special. It is what it is. Until black people change rules, that's what it is. Someone say it. Uh, pretty easy.
But the Kyle Larson, the NASCAR, and then the NASCAR driver, I was like, the one sport, really? Do I gotta do I gotta go into that? The one sport that we're shouldn't be super shocked is NASCAR. I, you know, football, basketball, baseball, soccer, NASCAR. Are we really shocked? All right, y'all. It's so day thirty. Tomorrow's day thirty-one. You know what tomorrow is? It's Wednesday, so it's crazy stepdad story day. All right, y'all. It's Gary Owen. And I'll see you tomorrow. Same shit every day.